Welcome to Lego Tales, and today is my first Hobbit review, and this is the Hobbit Battle of Five Armies Lego set. I did not include this in my haul because I had actually just gotten it, so if you check out my haul video and didn't see this, I'm sorry. But anyway, this is a cool set. It cost $14.99. I got it at Target. It comes with 101 pieces. comes with three awesome minifigures and a skeleton. comes... And it comes with some sort of build, catapult flying thing. Um, anyways, it is 8 through 14, set number 79015. 101 pieces. It's called the Witch King Battle. And there's the Witch King right here in the back. Here's the features. It has a skeleton, a bad guy, all the weapons, and a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, this looks like a pretty cool set. And by the way, this is my first Hobbit set review. So like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm doing this for you Hobbit fans. So if you're a Hobbit fan, like this video and subscribe. I'll be doing more Hobbit sets because I'm kind of into them. I love J.R.R. Tolkien. He's just an amazing writer and everything. But anyway, without further ado, let's build. Whoa, that's crazy. Three Hobbit six thing on the same side. That's just crazy. And then on the other side... And on the front. Oh, okay. Anyway, without further ado, let's build this set. Now! Welcome back. We've built the set and the minifigs. We'll start off. I have to admit, I'm sorry. Um, I do not know the two elves' names. I think this one might be Tariel or Tar Tariel or something. But this guy, I know he was he's the elf king in the Lord of the Rings. At least that's what he looks like. But I'm not totally sure about that. But I'm pretty sure that he's like the the elf elf leader in the Lord of the Rings series so I'm not sure about that so I don't know particular these names and I'm not going to name off names for these two elves and the box as you can see does not give you any names for any of the minifigs except for the witch king so anyway without further ado let's start off with the set here's the instruction manual it is actually a pretty big instruction manual for a $15 set it is a $20 size instruction manual and in the back, you do have an advertisement for the Lonely Mountain set, which I might get. I probably won't get it. Smaug looks awesome, but it is a very super expensive set. Super expensive. And it only comes with four, five minifigs. So, anyway, the Smaug looks awesome, and that'd be the only way, but I'm not paying $130 for it. But anyway, there's the instruction manual. Of course, there's the minifigs. It does not tell you the names, once again. But let's look at the minifigs, starting off with this guy. He has a very good torso printing and leg printing. It is very, very good. And then the head mold for his head is pretty awesome as well. It is soft plastic rubber. It is not hard. He does have a double-sided face. One side he's smiling, and the other side he's not. He does have back printing, which is just basically binded ropes. Well, that's what it looks like anyway. He does have that sage green cape and that sleeth weapon right there. And he does have awesome leg printing. No leg printing on the side or the back, just the front. But there is the he elf, whatever his name is. I think he's. I think this guy might be the leader of the elves in the Lord of the Rings series, but I don't remember his name right now, so... Anyway, off to this Marini figure, which I think might be Tariel. Uh, she has that diamond that is in the Lord of the Rings that she gives to Frodo um, at the end. 
And there's another one of those sparkly capes that was first seen in Vitruvius and then went on to the wizard in the series 12 and is now here with the Hobbit. And there is Diamond, her headpiece, once again, same mold as the other elf, but it is just a different color hair and different color printing. She does have a double-sided face. One is a super freaky face, and the other one is a normal face. She does have that dress, and um, she's now bodiless. But anyway, she does have back printing on the torso, which I'll get to right now after I take off the headpiece again. There's the back torso printing. I'll put the headpiece back on if I can. There we go. And those are all the minifigs. And for a $15 set, it comes with a good amount of minifigs. And all, and even better, for the $15, all three of these minifigs are exclusive to the set. So that's pretty amazing for a $15 set. Also, you don't get Hobbit sets for this cheap most of the time. All the previously released ones have been super expensive. That's why I have not been getting them and stuff. But anyway, on to this little build we get here. It's like a tree, since nobody has seen the movie yet, except for maybe you lucky people in Denmark and stuff. Um, this looks like a tree, maybe some dark place where the Witch King hides. But starting off with the first feature, it's the Witch King standing up here. And you want to turn him without fighting, so you have this turning thing right here and you can turn him I don't know what's that for but that's for but I guess right now we can wait until the movie to see wow 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 what that thing is meant for but anyway he can turn up there for some reason and then right up here we do have catapults you see these trans orange right here go into this box and you just push down the skeleton Hold on a second. For some reason, it broke, which is... It's not supposed to break. Come on, I'm in the middle of a video right here. Okay, there you go. Now it should shoot. There you go. It does shoot pretty far if you can move your hand away in time. Yeah, I went all the way back here. But anyway, there's a little catapult. It does come with two of these. And then, as you can see back here, there's skeleton parts scattered around. You have a head and a leg and the body... And another leg back here, and then you do have some foliage. So, like, we have her. She's up here, scared the heck out of the skeletons. He's up here, coming to her rescue. And the witch queen, witch queen, is looking down at her, ready to kill her. So it's pretty cool. You have like a fighting scene. You can make him come up here in the tree and fight and stuff. Make him turn around, have a lot of fun. I think this set has a ton of playability for a $15 set, and for that, it is amazing. The price range is amazing, and the price is amazing for a Hobbit set. Um, the minifigs, all three of them are exclusive, and the price is amazing. The priest count is amazing. The pieces you get are amazing. It's just a very awesome set for only $14.99. So with, for that, I'm going to give it an 8 point seven um which is a very very good rating i think this set is a good set i would definitely go ahead and buy this before you buy the mala's ice mama stomper because this set is just amazing mala's ice mama stomper is awesome too but if you watch my review on that one it does have issues anyway i'm a big hobbit fan but i'm not nearly as big of a hobbit fan as i am a chima fan and a marvel superheroes fan so i might do more Hobbit set reviews, so stay tuned just in case I decide. I'll probably do the Battle of Five Armies set review because that set looks awesome. If you are a Hobbit fan, like this video, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below which set you would like me to review, and I would try, possibly try to my best to review it for you and make it into a video. And I might even mention you in the video, so... Like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, add this video to your favorites. And we did get three extra pieces, I don't know if I mentioned that. Some skeleton pieces and just a red piece right here. No stickers, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video here on LEGO Tales TV, and I'll see you next time.